Hi everyone, I'm Rena Nine, and millions of people are now dealing with the remnants of Hurricane Matthew. The storm's rain triggered severe flooding in Georgia and the Carolinas. There are aerials you see right here from Fayetteville, North Carolina, showing parts of the town underwater. Some areas got more than a foot of rain. The hurricane is being blamed for more than a dozen deaths in the U.S., many of them in North Carolina. On the phone with me now is Mark Strassman. He's actually on his way to Fayetteville, North Carolina. Mark, you've actually been tracking Hurricane Matthew all the way down from Jamaica to Florida, now up to North Carolina. Which areas have really been hit the most? Well, hey, Rena, initially, of course, Haiti was, uh, was, the, was easily the, the most hard hit area. I mean, at least uh, 800 dead, but, but the death toll is only going to climb. Uh, in, the, in the United States, though, uh, you know, because the storm stayed mostly uh, offshore, uh, the, the storm essentially just like brushed up against the coast. And so most of the coast was spared uh, catastrophic damage. I mean, in fact, all the coast was spared catastrophic damage. Uh, it is only now in North Carolina where you're starting to see uh, real issues with flooding. Uh, flooding in major cities uh, for in North Carolina, such as Wilmington, Raleigh, um, and 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 now Fayetteville too. And uh, it's 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 bad. They've had uh, more than 900 boat rescues. Uh, there are issues of power, issues of flooding, issues of people having to boil water. Uh, this is a story in North Carolina. Uh, that is going to continue on uh, probably for most of the week, uh, just as, as folks try to recover from a storm that, that, that hit them uh, on the tail end, but, but it also hit them very hard. Mark, we heard yesterday the governor of South Carolina, Nikki Haley, telling people don't come back just yet. What are officials saying today to people who have evacuated? Is there any word on when people can actually return? Well, we were in, in uh, Charleston, South Carolina, this morning, and um, the curfew was lifting at 8 o'clock. And I tell you, as we were driving out of the city, there was a long line of traffic of folks driving back, and, and, and some of them were pulling trailers. And clearly, uh, this was a caravan of cars, a long caravan of people returning to a city that they had been uh, told to leave. Uh, so some of that process is now underway. On that, it will depend where they live and what kind of shape that area is in. In some places, it's, it's just not safe to go back yet. I mean, if you have uh, down power lines, it's probably, and, and, and standing water, that, that's not a good combination. It's not a good idea to go back. So what's the um, biggest threat right now, Mark? A lot of it is power. Uh, a lot of it is, is, is uh, a water. Uh, water, it, that is that it is always a threat. I suppose uh, as a storm offshore, the Outer Banks is still to some degree. It's going to be flash flooding uh, and, and inland flooding as well. So um, it, it's not over yet. I mean, it's 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 all okay in in Florida and Georgia, but in in North Carolina, uh, it is still a a an issue that goes on. Mark Strassman, thank you for that report, Mark.